Hi friends, have you ever had the experience of um, achieving something once you stopped focusing on it so much? It seems like sometimes um, the act of focusing on something that we want to achieve prevents us from achieving it. And I think that's true because um, with, with many things, our conscious mind um, overcomplicates things and, and, and slows us down, th th slows down our thinking, pro thinking and, and our mental processes and prevents us from making the decisions in the kind of using the unconscious um, processes and the, yeah, the, the, the unconscious pathways that we need. And so when we stop focusing on those things, it seems like it's easier to achieve those things. But I believe that um, we first have to learn how to do something, learn what the goal is consciously, become very conscious of it, um, try consciously to achieve that thing, and then slowly integrate it into our unconscious mind. That's the most effective way to um, achieve something. And um, um, uh, John Waitzkin, Josh Waitzkin talks about this in his book, The Art of Learning. He talks about um, how uh, he, he talks about sort of form to leave form, which is, um, I think, a Tai Chi um, saying that uh, says, you know, in Tai Chi, you should learn the forms more and more and more. And the forms are sort of fixed ways of moving. And you should learn them more and more and more until you learn them so much that you can forget about them and start doing things that are not the form at all. But because the form is now deeply integrated into your unconscious mind, it'll help you to move in ways that are um, effective. And and that's sort of how, how many things in life work. We need to uh, uh, learn form to leave form. Or uh, um, Josh applies this to chess as well, and he talks about numbers to leave numbers, um, which is when you're calculating chess positions, at first you have to be very conscious to calculate exactly um, where you will go and you use actually the you, you apply um, number ratings to each piece and each piece is worth a certain number of points and then you calculate the trade-offs and see you know what makes sense based on those points but after a while you learn those numbers and then you to, to leave those numbers you leave them behind and he says you know well my, my interpretation of that is is many people might see masters use their unconscious mind and they might make the conclusion that oh, you don't need to consciously focus on something. You just need to let your unconscious do the work. So I want consciously focus on it. But this would be a huge mistake because you can't beat a grandmaster by jumping straight to the unconscious level of chess that that person has. And it's the same for, for any discipline. You can't um, let your unconscious just flow and then achieve the mastery at that le level that, that the masters have. Um, the key is to first to learn the techniques, to learn consciously with great effort and diligence the techniques and to the point where they've become deeply integrated, where you've done them so many times that you can consciously forget about them and still be able to do them effectively. And at that point, you reach this uh, kind of higher level where you can do things faster and more effectively because your conscious mind isn't getting in the way. But as I said, you need to first master them at the conscious level and then you can integrate them. And the same is true for any goal that you want to achieve. I believe that if you um, just focus on uh, the goal and create strategies and pursue it with diligence. Uh, then after a while, um, um, scale back and let your unconscious kind of offload that work to the unconscious mind. And you, you'll, you, you may notice that you start to make more progress as you think less about it because you're offloading the work to your unconscious mind. Your unconscious mind can do it much more fast and uh, much more effectively. So that's the idea for today. Um, I'm curious if you've ever felt this experience of um, achieving more once you stop thinking about something, and if you if you've noticed that maybe you know you've you've already learned all the strategies, and now once you let your you ease off your unconscious your your, your conscious your mental processing at the rational conscious level, that your unconscious mind is able to pursue those things and make them happen more effectively. Um, yeah, I'm curious if you have any experiences like that, uh, please share them and. Uh, Wish you a happy new year and I'll see you tomorrow.